Chawi ti chop twis yun kun watu yama kana wona henak nek bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa dong abuk shami no no shak ji kina lorcha wata mwana kin kun shi shi kin ni kin kun ban mula rag ji kun wama kun bes ching pala mule tune rana nu prata dong ko searcha domatama Nikawa dupaka! Patisa, patisa! Kon muli slimo poi wanga kun diskin. Chi ita kanki kanga kilikon. Pinkuin kuka inba ni chaloda kun. Tung abashun ni chunchi kakin cha nawabaka on. Chang waba chino shangli chama ucha wish uyong kun. Kon ik mama chi. Takum jus tak miki grabul moko kacicu ita botunga turbo bank wale oganda naru chuchut boga sha punga bola wana chikne pamule kuyani jus kuna chitenai ina kun mama runi ra ra chikun slimo patona mundi hotonga chikon kapi jawana bota ayu ta honga chakanki dora kacicu ita hotonga topa da mun kwali agando do nano chuchut musha patonga bola wana chikne Pamuli slemo poda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Tiska du suki kuba na bona na kachu. Abtu inko tu. Topa da bungu alia gando na go chuchut. Kapa chi kuita hotonga. Yala mo inko pun. Jilo ba muli ra ni bobo. Wango kun bes ka gang ba mama muli ra. Kuya mi just kuna chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun, slimo patona, mundi ha donga chikun kabi. Chawana bota ayua ta honga cha kanki dora, ka chiku ita ho donga. Topa da bungu alia gando do nano chut chut, muksha pa pangpa, bola wana chikne. Ba muli slemo po da wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes, kuyami just kuna chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun, slimo patona, mundi ha donga chikun kabi. Uba batu kaji, tong nong bong jang nung yang, tong kadok smak delia. Kismatoma, wanna kumbes chingpa maruira, pop chingbang non kick. 
Tuk Ninja Mira Rabes. Uba Batu Koji, Tong Nong Bong Chang Nung Yang, Tong Katok Smack Delia. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Jawana bota ayua tahunga chakanki dora kachiku ita hodonga topa da bungwal ya gando do na no chuchu musha pa pa bola wana chikne ba muli slemo bota wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. You old fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. 
A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! There, eat that. There, Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkyrs would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the End of Spire? Carth Onassi is alive? Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taris will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. 
Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. But we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... It's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volker prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Yes, well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse. From what I... Well, that's all I... You got it. In Kinku no Bamuli Rachin Kun Tong Hait Tun Kun Ching Ni Bobo Jimata Ni Punaje Tolpi Kik Nyunyan 
Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kunbes. Jink Palamul Tong Kingba na Konkek. Tung Ting Tachun Kun Nek Muli Rabest. Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo. Kachi Chu Aitha Hadonga Tulpata Bonk Molya Gando Danago Chuchut. Moga Shampungpa Bolawana Chikni. Pamul neslik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. Tol ba da bunk waliagando da nago chuchut, kachi chuay sa haudunga. Yumalith ka inkotun, chilo mulra de ne bobo. Munga kun biskang, bamulara. Shag jikin lor chawa ta uma? Kava volpa mulji gumana. King kun shachi king, ni king kun oba muli raji kun. Wama kun bes, chin pala muji. Tunira nu prata dunko, sercha domandoma. What's this? Another off-worlder? I didn't realize how many of you there were. Hey, look who's back! The mysterious stranger. You know, I had a front row seat when you gunned down Vendix Starkiller. Best duel I've ever seen! If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? Good day to you. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. 
I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. We should move on while we can. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes, then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandor is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Hey, it's the mysterious stranger. Great match against Bandit Starkiller. Truly one for the ages. Hey, you're one of the duelists. The one they call the Mysterious Stranger. Sure, I know you. You beat Bandit Starkiller. I can't believe it. You actually beat him. Ever since the Sith quarantine, Javier's cantina is packed with off-worlders. It never used to be. Hey, look at this! A real live celebrity right here in my shop. Winning that swoop bike race has made you into something of all. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Because of the Sith quarantine... Punky, 
Jishawa Anibum Kasha, Jonasi, Ichua, Pyongbo Joni, Minamamato, Mule Ra, Hakugri Katgota Parabola. Mokao Danya Foki, Chachiska to Punta Kakaspaka, Bano Oto. Can chop a chawi, tick chop twees, yun kun, but to yama kama wuna henak neck, bugra shak, kunti chi wa un chawa, dong a book shami no no. Tinku ukapa, topa no aska, chi nisko ne akava a baka. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping. Our planet. Dumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Kin kun 
Shi Kaikichin Awana Wamata Nishi La Chorga Kin Kun Palamona Reji Ching Pala Niska Mule Tun Ratatigan Potranko Desarcha Doma Wana Kondatama Bona Na Kachu Kicha Badwang Wanga Kum Kiba Bu Mule Ra Kakin Chak Nawa Gawa Bakon Donk Kiba Nukunek Tanga Boksha Um Nagnong
Dragon and I got you. A twinkle to go for the boom while you're going to go to shoot. Kabachi, go eat the hot tonga. Yala mo in kapoon. Gilo wa mulira ni bobo. Wango kumpes ka gang. Baba marulira. Lurga boda ni winkis na toma. Wana kumpes ching pa marulira. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ninja mulira rabes. Tiska du suki guba na bona na gachu. A twinkle to. Topa da bunk wal ya gando na go chu chu. Kabachi kuita hotonga. Yala mo in kapoon. Gino wa mulira ni bobo. Wango kumpes ka gang. Ba ma marulira. Ja wana bota ayu ha tahunga cha kanki dora. Kachi kuita hotonga. Topa da bunk wal ya gando do na go chu chu. Musha pa pumpa. Bola wana chikne. Ba muli slay mo boda wanga kumpes mulira ra best. I do. Yes?
can I do? Yeah? I do. I do.
can I do? What? What can I do? gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. can I do?
What can I do? Yes? I'm here. Yes? can I do? Huh? What? My medical facility. I even have a cure for the re of course I said of course. You blow it.
Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better.
But there are billions of people on Terrus. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Callow. You may be the newest cath hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With a recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. <laughs> 